how to create 3D moving animated cartoon videos using AI for free of cost, even if you have zero technical skills. And all of this would be covered in less than 10 minutes. With that being said, this is Shyan from NKIacademy.com. And today in this video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step process which you can apply even if you have zero expertise in video making or video editing or any kind of 3D animations. And you can actually end up producing a result which looks like this. Can you create a 3D cartoon animated video like this? What if I told you it can be done for free? You don't need any expertise to create this. If you are interested, then stay tuned till the end. The best part is that we are going to use all of the free tools and all of them AI tools so that you don't need to actually do the hard work. With that being said, if that sounds interesting, then please stick on with me till the end of this video. And also, if you do like this video, then please consider liking this because that helps me a lot. And also consider subscribing to this channel if you get any value in this tutorial. With that being said, please watch this video carefully because you need to follow each of the steps. If you miss any of them, then the results might vary. That being said, let's jump inside my computer and let me show you how to do the things. So step one is using ChatGPT, you need to create the script for your video. So like for an example, I've given create a video script for 30 seconds where a boy narrates his story on a ghost in a jungle, right? And hit on the enter and boom, there you can see it has created a short script. And as you can see over here, it is a narrative within 30 seconds. So you can actually go ahead and do some voiceover on this. now. So now that we have got the script, we need to actually create the assets. And for that, we'll head over to our AI site, which is our step two, which is logging inside of Leonardo.ai. Now, this is the AI tool that you can get access for free. Of course, you just need to hit on get early access and enter your email ID within it. And once you do that, you can just click on launch app and it will actually launch the Leonardo.ai which should look like this, right? So basically it's an AI tool that can generate images from text, right? So all that you need to do is enter a prompt and it would create the images for you. Now on the left hand side of the tool here, you can see you can control anything and everything like the number of images that you want to get. You can also set out the aspect ratio and all of those stuffs, right? So you can actually figure out what actually looks great for you. Now I have actually created some prompts which you can readily fit in to get the desired results. Now you can actually play around with this prompt and edit them to give you the exact results. Now what I want to generate is a little background of a jungle and I want to generate an image of a boy, right? So let me first create that of a jungle. I'm going to supply you this uh, prompts in the description below. So if you want to just go ahead and download this and you would actually be able to use this ready-made prompts, right? So in here you can see the background prompt. So I am just going to actually copy this prompt over here. Just control C and go over to Leonardo AI and in here we need to paste this. So now that we have pasted this, right? Make sure that our fine-tuned model be Leonardo Diffusion, right? And the style be Leonardo style. And you just need to hit on generate. And once you do that, you can see three tokens would be used up. But remember, you are going to get 120 tokens for free, of course, every day. And you can see it is being generated, right? While it is being generated, let me just show you one thing. You can go ahead and generate prompts as well. If you have any idea, say, for example, you have an idea like a dark jungle with a haunted house in it, right? You can just write it over here. And what it will do is that it will give you a done for you prompt with, using which you can generate the image. So everything is done for you literally. So with that being said, let us see if what image has been generated. So go over to this image generation. And as you can see, the image has been generated, right? Now you can just go ahead and download this image. Now we are going to keep this image downloaded on a safe place, right? And then we are going to head over to our next step, which is actually creating that animated characters, right? So again, for this, you can go ahead and apply your own prompts. I have a done for you prompt as well. If you want to, you can use that as well. Just let me copy this and go over to Leonardo.ai and let me paste it quickly. And this is of a girl. So let me change it to a boy just like that, right? And then let us go back. And as you can see over here, it has a negative prompt, right? So let us copy this and I'm going to show you where you need to paste it. So let's go over to Leonardo.ai and click on this add negative prompt. And in here, you get this negative prompt over here, right? So let's wait until the image is being generated, right? And boom, you can see it has been generated, right? So we can just go ahead and download this image as well. Just hit on download and the image would be downloaded at your computer. Now that ends our step two. Now for the step three, we actually need to remove this background, right? So for that, we'll head over to a completely free website called remove.bg. Just go over there and click on upload image and just figure out the image that you have currently downloaded from leonardo.ai. 
and boom, you can see that the character has been created with a transparent background. Now, all that we need to do is download this image. So now we are going to head over to step four. And this time we are going to add animation to this character, right? And so for that, we are going to head over to a brand new AI website called metademolab.com, right? So it's again free to use. You can just go ahead and upload your photo in here. Just click on upload photo and remember to upload the photo with the transparent background, right? Now, once that has been done, you can see it over here. Just go ahead and click on next. And here you need to agree. And here you just need to make sure that this box actually encircles your image, right? And it has done here. Then it gives us this uh, AI tool, which is an eraser, right? If you have any points where uh, the hand touches the dress or any part of the hand touches the body, then you can just detach it so that it gives proper animation. But in our case, since we have used a very good prompt, we have got the desired result in here. So we don't need to make any changes, but in your case, you might, right? So make sure that you do that. And once that is done, just hit on next. Now it gives you the different points. That is the joints within the body. And you can see it has rightly identified them. And once done just hit on next and as you can see it is creating the animation so it would be created in a few seconds and as you can see it has been created now you can go ahead and choose any of the animations from this left hand side like uh, if you want the character to dance you can just click on this and you would see the preview anytime soon there you go so it is dancing right now so if you want to actually go ahead and you can choose anything you can make it walk you can make it run you can make it dance you can make it uh, anything that you want to basically right so let us apply this um, walking effect and as you can see now the character is walking right so once this is done we are just going to hit on this full screen and that is actually going to allow us to download this we'll just click on these three dots and click on download and boom you can see it is being downloaded right so let's close this so that actually concludes our fourth step now we are going to head over to a fifth step which is creating the voice over now for creating voiceover, you can actually use a microphone like I'm doing over here and record your own voice but if you don't want to use your own voice then I can suggest you a free AI tool again which is called 11labs.io where you don't even need to sign up, right? You can just put up your script over here and you can have all these languages available as well, right? And then you can choose a male or a female character from here as well. You can check out the preview as well if you want to. And once you are happy with it, you can download this, right? So in here, I can see this is the exact script that I had used. So let us use this only. Just hit on download. Now that brings us to step number six where we are actually going to create the video, right? We are going to use any video editor that you like right but for this example i have created an online video editor like vid.io where i am going to actually use this right so you can also use this for free of course with that being said you can use it on any editor that you want to just make sure that you apply the effect that i show right now so just go over to this new video and click on create project and in this project you just need to upload the files so just click on that and in here you can see all of the files are available over here right so this is the walking animation this is the voiceover and uh, this is the background that we have right so first let us click on the background then let us click on the walking video and then let us click on the voiceover and click on open so as you can see it has actually loaded all of these stuffs on the timeline there you go there's the background there's the video and there's the audio so let me quickly rearrange it let me play place my video on top of my background just like this and let me place the audio right underneath just like this right and then let me match the audio with the background just like this right and it's done so once this is done i just need to actually trim the video a little over here as well so let us make all of this in the same now once this is done i just need to actually go over here and I need to select the video that has been exported, right? So this is the video that has been exported. And in here, we can just scroll down to find a thing called remove background. Just click on that. And this step is essential to actually get the things done, right? Now you can see the background over here. And now if I play this, let me show you how it appears. So there you go. So it's appearing nicely, right? So now we are going to make some final adjustments. So first of all, we need to go over to the settings and make sure that you have the aspect ratio for the ones that you want to, right? If you want a YouTube shot, you can do that. If you want it for TikTok, you can do that. If you want it for Instagram, you can do that. Or if you want it for YouTube, you can do that as well, right? And as you can see, the canvas size changes, right? Then we are going to select the background, right? And then we are going to match it with the screen, just like this, as easy as it can be, right? And now if we play this, you can see it has a nice little effects. Now, if I give a little time over here, I'm 
most definitely going to actually make it a more realistic thing and you can imagine the things that you can do with it right so you can just uh, click on the video layer and adjust the video size as well right you can make it uh, walk faster or slower as well using keyframe animation i have just shown you the way in which you can actually create anything and everything now your imagination is the only limit that you have right and once this is all done you just need to hit on this done and you need to hit on export video just click on that and as you can see the video has been exported right now you can just go ahead and share this in any platform you want to or you can just hit on this download and you can download it in mp4 format can you create a 3d cartoon animated video like this and as you can what see, if i told you it and as you can see it has been created so that's literally it and you can play around you can give it a bit more time to actually create the script and create a storyboard and then you can actually have anything and everything all of these tools are free go ahead and start practicing and i'm sure you are going to be able to pull out a masterpiece out of this now with that being said i really hope that you have enjoyed this little video if you have then please help me with the like because that helps me grow and if you are new to this channel, then please consider subscribing to this channel because all you get here is some great content which can really help you to grow your business or grow your online presence. With that being said, this is your good friend Shine bidding goodbye from you. We'll meet again pretty soon somewhere over the internet. Until then, please take care of yourself and your families and don't forget to keep making money online. Signing off is Shine from Inca Academy. Take care. Bye-bye.